It was a sweet, sticky substance. But on one January day, it became a deadly, 15-foot-high wave of destruction. Sir, the tank groans and leaks every day. It's not safe. I fear it cannot hold much longer. First, a sound like a machine gun, the rivets popping. Then, a roar as the steel wall gave way. A 25-foot-high wave of molasses moving at 35 miles per hour. It was not a flood. It was a tsunami. No! The horses! They're trapped! There's no escape from this! This river of syrup! It's like quicksand. You can't run, you can't swim. For every one we save, others are lost. The neighborhood was unrecognizable. 21 people dead, 150 injured, all trapped in sweetness turned to cement. Use the boats! The molasses is still liquid underneath. We can still reach people if we hurry. The cleanup took weeks. They washed the streets with salt water, but the smell lingered for years. The company was negligent. They ignored the signs. We will ensure the victims and their families receive justice. It was a tragic lesson. This disaster led to new, strict laws for engineering and construction across America.